What's up, what's up, what's up? This is your girl, J. Kells. Welcome back to my vlog. Okay, so now what we are cooking this time, we are cooking short ribs. I love short ribs. This is a nice meal to make when you wanna put it in the oven and walk away. You can put it in a slow cooker as well. If you use a slow cooker, you have to put it in early in the morning because it's gonna take eight to nine hours. Now, today, the process that I'm gonna do, I'm using my Dutch oven. Voila! <laughs> and it should cook within uh, two and a half, three and a half hours. We'll see how it goes. So let's get started because we have a few steps. So now I have here my beautiful short ribs. Beautiful. Now what we're gonna do on our short ribs from here is I'm going to put a little bit of salt. On them. Then I will add a tad bit of pepper as well. Not a tad bit, I'm gonna be slightly heavy on the pepper. Okay, and I have smoked paprika that I'm gonna put. Again, I'm just putting a little bit on each of these short ribs. I have a tad bit of allspice. It'll look something like this, and we're just going to rub it on one side. I'm gonna rub it in nice. I did leave the fat on the back of my short rib because I love the fat that's flavor and we are going to brown these in that Dutch oven so when we brown and flip it on the other side it's going to add a lot of flavor when we marry it with the sauce and everything so for me I keep the fat on the back if you don't want to you know do what you do alrighty so here again I'm gonna add some salt I'm being a little generous with the salt and pepper okay especially the pepper see Alrighty, now with the paprika. Now we're going to rub it in on this side as well. So here we are. We have the front and the back. Now what I'm going to do for the sides, I'm just going to sort of roll it around in the seasoning that's on the cutting board. Beautiful. So there we are. And now we have those here. Now before we go to the stove, I'm just going to show you everything else that I did use. Okay, so what we're going to use today as well, I have garlic cloves. I did chop them up, not extremely fine. I have two regular size yellow onions. I put it inside of cold water because me and onions will get along. I love to cook them, but my eyes tear. And I just found when I put um, cold soak them in cold water, I don't tear. So that's just what I do. It could be a mental thing. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so then here as well, I have some of the green bell pepper and red bell pepper. And I have thyme. Now, I'm also going to use some uh, red wine and a little bit of beef stock as well. But when we get to that step, I'll show you. For now, let's go ahead and go to the stove. Mm -hmm. Our Dutch oven is heating up. I'm going to go ahead and add some oil on the bottom. Not too much. Again, because we want these to brown nice. So you just want to sort of coat the bottom. I'm only going to add a few at a time. Alrighty. So we're going to go ahead and... Oh, yes. One... Two, we can add three at a time here. And three. All right, and we're gonna let them sear here, get nice and brown, a good maybe three minutes on each side. I will press them as well to make sure we get a nice crust on there. You definitely wanna brown them good. Okay, this is an important step here. Go ahead and press down a little. In about three minutes look at that you want a nice here we're gonna go ahead and turn it on the other side oh yes baby look at that beauty okay that's what you're looking for you want to do it on all sides so our second side should be brown and we're gonna go ahead and flip them to the sides a little if we can get in the stand i'll hold it in place And we're going to sit them here while we go ahead and we brown the last three. Beauty. Can y'all hear that? In here browning my short rib. That's the last three that I have to brown. All right, so the last three are complete. So now from here, I'm going to go ahead and take them. Look at that beauty. I'm going to take these three out and put them on this same cutting board here. Beautiful, beautiful. Let those rest. 
And from here, directly in this same skillet here, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat down some actually. And I'm just gonna add my bowl of onions. Directly to the skillet here. What I'm doing right now is I'm lightly scraping the bottom of the cast iron skillet because I want to get all of that goodness, all of that flavor out of the bottom. Plus, I don't want it to stick and burn. Next step, I'm going to go ahead and add our garlic. I added half of it. I'm going to add the rest later. Add my green bell pepper and my red bell pepper as well at this step. And I'm going to go ahead and saute these down some. I'll turn it up now a little. These are starting to soften up. At this point, I'm going to add just a tad bit of adobo on them. And a little bit more black pepper. Alrighty. We have our veggies. They sauteed down. They look beautiful. Beautiful. You can see that nice color we're getting from all of them. So at this point, now what I'm going to go ahead and do, and as you all, actually before I want to say, as you all see, I did not chop the onion, and peppers, anything too small. I left them a nice big size because I sort of want it to stay whole as it cooks throughout the meal. Especially onions will tend to uh, disappear <laughs> as you cook when you cut them too small. Alrighty. So from this point, I have, this is unsalted beef broth. I'm go ahead and add a little bit of that in there. Also have some red wine. Alrighty, so we pour our red wine in. From here, I'm going to add some thyme as well. And let this get back to a boil. And then I will go ahead and add the beef. Alrighty, so now we have it at a nice boil. While it's boiling, we're going to let it boil out a little bit more because your girl was a little bit heavy on that red wine. <laughs> We can go ahead and preheat our oven. Add the remainder of my garlic that I have inside. I'm going to go ahead and take my short rib and I'm just going to add them inside of this goodness here. Alrighty, so now at this point, all we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and put my lid back on my Dutch oven. Alrighty, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off for the heat and I'm gonna put this baby inside of the oven have it preheated at 300 degrees and I'm gonna go ahead and sit it in there. I'm gonna let it stay for about a good hour and a half, two hours and then I will check on the tenderness of it. Okay. All right, so it's been about an hour and a half. Let's go ahead and pull the lid off of this Dutch oven. Woo, smoky baby. And let's see what we look like here. Can you all see a close up? Beautiful. So what I am gonna do from here, I'm gonna use my tongs and I'm gonna flip them over.